Thank you very much. Uh, I would like to thank, of course, uh, the people from the D-Days and also from Rendezvous, the event uh, organized by the French Institute here in uh, Croatia. Uh, so my name is Véronique Marier. I'm working um, at the Centre National des Arts Plastiques. That is uh, in an institution uh, attached to the French Ministry for Culture. And that's the institution that uh, uh, owns the state collection first and also helps uh, artists, photographers, designers. I'm uh, responsible for graphic design in CNAP and especially I'm editor of a publication that is uh, uh, called Graphisme en France, that means uh, graphic design in France, and it's a yearly publication um, with uh, 10,000 copies sent to graphic designers every year. So here you have um, uh, all the, the first uh, the, the first nine, 19th uh, uh, editions of Graphisme en France. It was first published in 1994. And um, so it means that in uh, 2014, last year, uh, it was the 20th anniversary of this publication. Um, so we decided to organize um, an event uh, national events and uh, many uh, different uh, projects to promote and to support uh, graphic design and typography. So that's what I'm gonna tell you about uh, this evening. So we first decided to um, uh, commission graphic designer for the visual identity of this event. So it was the Building Paris Building Paris, the designer who were chosen, they uh, choose to work on this oval uh, sticker, car sticker, to, to identify kind of the world of graphic design in France. So that's the reason why there is the GF. That's the poster. And it was uh, available in always in black and white. And they choose to uh, work with uh, different typefaces. So you have here uh, 15 names of uh, 15 different typefaces designed by young French uh, font designer. Um, and then it, it, it means that they played with uh, this oval sticker uh, shape to built the, the visual identity. So our aim was uh, at first to try to um, make the general public identify the network of all the, the, the people organizing uh, exhibitions or schools or talks or everything in, in France. So I will show you. We decided to make, to create a map. Um, so you have the image, but it's always better with the real objects. So here is the, um, the calendar with all the events during the whole year, of, uh, organized during the whole year of uh, 2014. And then you have the uh, map of France to, uh, to see where the events are taking place during the whole year. So that's um, the first thing that we did. Uh, this event was launched by the French uh, Minister for Culture at the beginning of the year. So that was uh, important for us. Um, so that's the back of the, of the document. Oops, sorry. And then we published the Graphisme en France 2014, um, as usual, I would say. But at the same time, it was a little bit different because it was bigger. The, the, the publication, and also we, we decided to translate it in English, so you can download it in English. Uh, so, and it was again 10,000 copies, and it's free, for, of course, I didn't uh, tell you, but uh, that's a free publication. Um, and then we, uh, we, we are very connected with, the, with all the graphic designers, and they're always telling us that there is a big problem with commissioners, because uh, commissioners are not very well educated 
in a way. And there is a big problem in the way to understand how to work with graphic designers. And they're very often asking us to try to improve, in a way, the understanding of what is a good commission as far as we are trying to be good commissioners as far as we are the Ministry for Culture. We're trying to be uh, the best as we can. And uh, so we decided to, um, to, to print and to uh, create this little guide. So the color is not exactly the same, so you can see it here. So it's free again. It's free downloadable on, on our website too. And this guide is um, for the commissioners, not for the graphic designers. And it says that um, how can you be the best commissioners, commissioner, sorry, and how do you have to do uh, to work with uh, graphic designers? So it means uh, before calling a graphic designer, I, I have to know exactly what I want to do, uh, what is my public, um, and, um, and yeah, try to work a little bit on the writing and the preparation preparation sorry of the um, of the the commission so we we published this uh, this little uh, document again it's free and we sent it to many many different uh, commissioners like of course all the cultural uh, network theaters and museums and all the communication uh, responsible of all these kind of institution but also in um, uh, economical and um, commercial organization to try to again uh, um, improve the, um, the the commission in uh, graphic design and it it's working in a way we have very good uh, feedback on this because uh, many commissioners they they just don't imagine the work that uh, it represents and also they they don't know that uh, you don't ask a designer uh, to change the color of a poster or you don't ask him to change the, the font, for example, or something. And when you just explain and try to figure out and to tell them why it's not fair and that's not how you have to do, then they start to open they mind, and then it's uh, it's getting better. So it's uh, something that is, uh, I think, uh, very uh, interesting, and it uh, works, starts to work. So that's nice. Uh, we also, maybe some of you were here yesterday evening when Sandrine Nug uh, talked about uh, her project about this um, uh, type design. Um, I, won't, um, I won't talk uh, very long about that, but I just wanted to tell you that uh, in CNAP, so where I'm working, um, we very often um, make um, public commission. So public commission is a special uh, commission, um, but it's something like we ask artists to create something for the public space, when I say something, it's for, of course a piece of art. So, for example, a sculpture in the middle of a um, square somewhere in a city. And uh, with this 2014 event f uh, around graphic design, we, we said we have to do something with typography, typeface design, really. So we decided to um, make a public commission. And then it was a um, special process in a way because we had to, uh, to ask uh, uh, type designers to send, to send us uh, their portfolios. So we received th uh, 30 um, different portfolios and then we choose three of them. We paid them uh, once uh, 1,500 euro to make us a project to see what, what was the project. We only said we want a typeface design, Roman, bold, and italic. And we really want that this project has a um, dimension that is uh, connected to the general public again. And maybe something that, that is a little bit educational for kids, for schools, or something like that. And um, uh, the project that Sandrine uh, sent us 
was really very interesting because she included in, in the process of, font, of uh, typeface design, sorry, all the history of typography because she's starting from pictograms and then she's following all the, the history of uh, typography. So that was uh, interesting for us, this, uh, this project. So she designed pictograms, as you see. So they're related to French, but maybe you understand the G here, or maybe um, the P. Okay. <laughs> uh, maybe the R too. I think it can work. So it's, uh, of course, a guitar, pelican, and the road. Can. Um, ah, snake. Ah, snake. It works. S2. So that's, that was the... Um, and what she did is that um, when, when you download the font, I didn't tell you, but it's free. It's for everybody. Everybody can download this font. And you can choose to, um, to put the pictograms in the text or not. So when you, um, when you write down guitar, if you, if you switch the, the button, then it can be replaced by the pictogram itself. So it's kind of a game and it's uh, interesting for, uh, um, to work with these uh, things in uh, school, schools. That the character set of the Roman, bold. So with the bold, there are the pictograms. And yeah, there is also the italic. And then, uh, she, um, she did uh, sketches, of course, many of them, and all these things are now in part of the state collection. So we keep all this work, all the pro design process to design this, this uh, typeface in the state collection of, uh, of the CNAP. So here you have a small uh, example. I didn't tell you, but you can see it on the top left that uh, she also designed um, ligatures in this, uh, in this uh, character set. So that's again documents and sketches on uh, her research. Um, here it is again, with funny comments she did. Um, here are the capitals that are the beginning of uh, her reflection and work and thinking about uh, this uh, typeface. And then we had um, another project that is um, something that is uh, very much connected with uh, education. It's a collaboration that we um, did with the Ministry for Education. So Ministry for Culture and Ministry for Education. And again, it was something that uh, most of the de graphic designers are always telling us is that um, the commissioners and everybody doesn't know anything about graphic design and typography. So what can we do? We thought about what can we do in this uh, year 2014 to try to improve this or to do something that will be uh, interesting in, uh, in, um, in this um, uh, educational process about graphic design. And then we, we, we started to work with uh, uh, teachers and graphic designers. We were um, around eight, 10 people. And we had meetings every six weeks to figure out and to try to think about what to do to, to be efficient and, uh, and to help uh, this uh, understanding. And we, as, quite quickly, we said, OK, we, we have to make posters. And first of all, we decided to work with high school. So it means students from 11 to 14, something like that. And, um, and then we, we, we decided to make posters. We said the poster is definitely a, a, communication, a communication object that is uh, interesting to work on. So we designed these posters that you can see here. Uh, we created this, those posters because we said, okay, what are the tools that uh, uh, the designers are working on? And then, um, we figure out that, um, first of all, uh, design, graphic designers are working on images. 
So we said we are, we are going to reproduce an eye in many different ways. So you have photography, graffiti, uh, sketches, and of course a digital uh, drawing. So this is images. This is uh, um, data viz. So it means uh, we have many different um, ways to visualize, make visualization of data. And, uh, and then we're trying to explain all these things. Uh, then you have the one with color, with, again, very many different uh, ways to, 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 to consider uh, colors. Uh, I didn't tell you, but here you have um, each, for e each poster, you have a different paper and uh, different uh, colors, sometimes four colors, sometimes two, sometimes only one. So I'm following with the um, first poster about layout. A layout on a poster here, but also on books, but also on newspaper or magazine, let's say. And then with the columns, two columns, three columns and everything. So it's a starting point to talk about layout. And the last one, the fifth one, is about typography. So here you have um, you have uh, yeah all different things with uh, with uh, with uh, letters and with uh, alphabets to make understand what is uh, typography. So that's the first thing, and those posters um, has to be. Uh, we think that the best thing is to hold the posters in um, in the the rooms in the schools, but. As you can see, the, the typographical, uh, the poster on typography can be in the uh, language uh, uh, classroom, and then the data viz can be in the history and geography or whatever. We're not, we, we didn't want it to, to, to make these posters only for uh, art teachers. Um, we, we, we thought it was uh, much more interesting to, to, to 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 do uh, an, an, a tool that that should be open and available for every teachers, um, and then uh, the teachers they have um, they have um, they have a small booklet in which they find texts about each subject to try to explain them. Um, what is this subject about? What is data viz? What are the main references, for example, with, uh, for, um, for this uh, special tool that uh, the graphic designers are using? And, um, and then you have uh, educational um, 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 ways to work with the pupils. So we, we tell them, of course, it's uh, it's for the French uh, high school, so it needs maybe to be um, adapted for uh, other countries, because what we think is that that's, in a way, is a um, kind of first step of work that we did, but we think that maybe it can be translated and, and used in many schools all over the world. Uh, maybe. So, uh, that was... so. This project was launched um, one month ago only, so it's it's quite recent. So we of course don't have uh, results of uh, workshops or um, that teacher did with this uh, this this tool, but at the same time, it's uh, we we had very good uh, feedback for, uh, uh, by the teachers who said that maybe it's uh, it's uh, it's something very interesting on which they will start to work uh, with the pupils uh, next uh, September, of course. Um, so here you have the posters again. And uh, this year, it's uh, 2015, so we published a new Graphisme France, the, the publication. So the new um, the new one is about artistic direction and um, uh, on of the press and the magazine. So here you can find uh, articles. Um, someone talked about Francesco Franchi. 
Uh, he, he wrote an article because it, 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 it's about uh, digital uh, commun um, yeah, communication and artistic direction in magazines now. So you have um, that's the the new um, the new Graphisme France, and it's again translated in English, and you can download download it for free um, within ten days. And um, this uh, this new um, uh, publication, and uh, it's a special printing. You will be able to have a look afterwards. But then it's um, the graphic designers. I didn't say, but it's the Ultragram Studio. And uh, they're quite young, and each time, each year, Graphisme en France is a new uh, project with a new subject, with a new design, with new paper, with new font, new everything, new size, new... So it's always a project that is um, something you, you've, you've seen uh, from the beginning. Uh, sorry, I'm... But uh, yes, you see that 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 was the um, the the first 19 issues, and you see the 94, 2003. So it's each year um, different design and different shape and different um, uh, everything again. Um, after the um, educational kits and the new uh, Graphisme en France. Um, uh, yes, I will tell you about this um, uh, website that we have. We started last year for the 2014 event, but it's still here uh, in 2015. And we, we always say that it was not the year of graphic design in 2014. And it's again the, the year of, of uh, graphic design in 2015. And we have this uh, website that is, uh, and I, I hope it will become kind of a, a resource and platform for um, uh, all the graphic design in, mainly in France, uh, uh, but with all the here on the left you have a column with all the events uh, that are taking place all over France, and then we have in interviews of uh, artistic directors of festival, for example, or galleries or graphic designers that are organizing exhibition or graphic designer that are exhibiting their work some, somewhere and then yeah we we are we're trying to 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 be the, the 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 website where we can find information on graphic design sorry it's only in french uh, we have some article uh, about um, yeah for example when we translate graphisme en france then it's in uh, in english we have some pages in english but it's not um, it's not, um, it's not uh, in English, all the website is not in English. The last thing I wanted to tell you about is that, um, so the CNAP is, uh, as I told you, owns the state collection. It's 95,000 pieces of art work that we have in the collection, so it's Painting, um, sculpture, of course, photography, and um, and uh, from uh, 2008, when I arrived in Knapp, I started to think that maybe it could be interesting to purchase graphic design for the state collection. We had already um, posters of Sislevich that you know, of course, and um, Sislevich was uh, living in uh, close to Paris, and, um, and we purchased uh, quite a lot of pieces of uh, artwork from uh, Sislevich posters, uh, photo montage, um, and sketches. Um, so we have we had quite a lot of um, of, uh, of pieces of Sislevich, but then we decided that maybe it's, it was interesting to start to purchase again uh, graphic design, and then we said, how can we purchase graphic design? It was kind of interesting uh, uh, thinking um, this, and then it was we started to think that maybe it was nice to to not only to purchase this poster, for example, but maybe that was more interesting to have sets of graphic design. And here, <clears throat> sorry for the Théâtre Nanterre Amandier, you see on the top left. Uh, so it's a, a theater that is close to Paris. And uh, the director of the theater worked for 11 years with the same graphic designers. And those graphic designers, they choose to work with the yellow color, uh, 
And one year after the other, they still used this yellow thing, but it was changing every year. Sorry, I can't uh, show you many images. But then we were interested in purchasing all the, the collaboration, all the work that was the col col collaboration between those graphic designers and, um, and the, the, the director of the theater. The graphic designers are, um, were Labomatic at the beginning, and then Nicolas Ledoux et, and Pascal Béjean. And uh, it means it's something like 1,500 different pieces of work. So it's posters in many different sizes. It's postcards, tickets, and t-shirts, and bags, and um, yeah, all the things that uh, the, the theater was uh, producing during these 11 years. And we also have, for example, to print uh, this poster, you have a the black for the font, you have the black for the image, you have the yellow, and so you have three different um, uh, printing uh, um, uh, pages. And then we have, we also have, we have this poster that is the finished one, but we also have only the black, the black color, only the yellow color. And that means that we understand then what is the design process by seeing only the, the, the different posters. So that what, that's what is interesting too, is that we, we keep things that explain what is the design process, uh, what was the design process at this time. Because when we purchase graphic design for a state collection, it's, we, we, we will keep it forever. So it means that maybe people will be able to work on this stuff for in 100 years. And that's the way we are thinking about when we purchase um, graphic design uh, pieces. That's another example. It's Peter Knapp. He's, uh, he was, he's uh, from uh, Switzerland. He was artistic director of the Elle magazine in the 60s in France. Um, and, um, and that's what we uh, purchased in 2010 when we started the, the, the purchases of uh, graphic design. And that's a uh, layout. Uh, of a magazine, and, and Peter Knapp was drawing. So this one, I think, it, yes, yeah, it's, it's 1971. It's written. Uh, we don't see very it very well, um, but it's 71. So it means that he was drawing all the pages of the magazine uh, before um, printing it, and then he kept. Kind of, it's kind of a miracle, but it's great for us. He kept this, these documents, and now it's in our collection. And it's very interesting because now, of course, we we, are, we don't do this anymore. When you want to make a magazine, you open your computer, and then you open InDesign, and then you you have uh, yeah, you know, much better than I am. But uh, that's definitely not the same process. So that's very interesting to keep this in a state collection, to. To, to tell and, and as a memory of how we were making magazine in the 70s, at the beginning of the 70s. Uh, here it's uh, another example, it's Logorama. It's a um, um, short movie, animation, animation movie. It won an Academy Award in 2010. It was uh, done by Ash Sank. Uh, it's a graphic design studio in Paris, and um, and um, and that, what it, what is interesting in this uh, graphic design uh, work, um, this uh, short movie, is that we also keep they they did um, um, uh, stickers postcards when when they were showing the movie they they were giving a lot of uh, graphic design uh, stuff and then we we also have this in the in the collection with the we bought the, all these uh, thing with the with the movie itself um, and the uh, last uh, last uh, image is um, this uh, collaboration between Philippe Milo and Edition Sans Page that is written uh, on the on the bottom, um, Philippe Milo designed something like 15 books. Uh, sorry, 50 books for this uh, publisher, and we we have now in the collection the books themselves, but also the flat covers 
with one uh, color and with with the embossed uh, thing, and then w the interior pages, uh, the flat um, um, the flat printing of the pages, the inside pages, um, and we have made.